All right, folks, so I'm going to explain how you guys should farm your energy. Now, I know some people have all over 500 energy. You guys don't need to listen to this. This is more for the beginner players to help you get to that 300, 400 mark. Getting to 400 energy is not that difficult. Like, honestly, I took forever to do it because I'm lazy. How you want to start off with your energy grind is do your main story quest. As soon as you start playing the game, the most beneficial thing you can do is the main story quest line. Because as you do the main story quest line, press O, hit go to main. As you do this, you'll get a lot of contribution points. You'll get a lot of energy, a lot of freebies, your Naru gear and all that stuff. So that's a really good way to start off. And as you go through each city, each town, each little uh, village and stuff, as you see more new NPCs, you'll see question marks above their head. And when you talk to them, you gain their energy or their knowledge. And as you unlock the knowledge, you'll unlock energy. So the first thing you want to do is obviously talk to every single NPC you see. Now that comes under character. When you press H and you open up your your energy menu or your knowledge menu when you speak to all the characters in a specific region you'll see the reward of how much energy you'll get out of it the first one you'd want to focus on is definitely that and as you traverse through the game doing your main story quest line you want to do topography so topography is basically just uh, identifying all the nodes so for some of them just uh, running to a node like here is enough or you have to speak to the node manager to get the knowledge from them. Make sure every area you go, you get the knowledge for each of the nodes you run by. So yeah, character is really easy to do. Topography is just running around, very easy to do. The sea is also just sailing from island to island and getting the knowledge for each island there. If you have a boat and you got the time to do it, it's pretty easy to do. You get a lot of energy from the sea, so it's pretty important to hit those when you can. Ecology is an easy one to do. So it's easy in the early levels, and then after later on, you get to the higher areas areas uh, gets time consuming to get like high ranking knowledge uh, but let me explain how you can farm ecology easily so what i like to do is i like to hop on a ranger basically going on a ranger horseback and just holding down l and b is like the easiest way to farm ecology and knowledge for like the earlier regions because you're one-shotting all the mobs and you get the knowledge pretty easily early on and you can use buffs and stuff to increase your chances. So um, some of the things are like the glasses from the pearl shop, pay to win I know, but um, let me just show you. So here it says a uh, chance to gain knowledge 5%. And then there's also another thing for chance to gain higher knowledge, like the earrings and stuff. So this is also helpful. And then there are buffs you can use. Um, what is the buff for food? Is it Dragon meal? Special Dragonese meal? Yep, there it is. Actually, we get knowledge from your cron meal, right? Yeah. Now, the cron meal isn't there in console, so it is useful to go through these buffs. So the Dragonese meal, the cron meal, uh, I think it's the simple cron meal, right? Simple cron meal has uh, the knowledge gain percentage. Now, for the elixirs, there's loony. A loony is four, uh, higher grade knowledge. There's weenie, but then there's, I remember there was a better elixir for this okay it must have been draft yeah savage draft that's what i was thinking about thank you for that so instead of using the uh weenie and loony you can use this as well what else right the pets so having birds like for example this one they have their passive like a tier four is giving you 30 percent chance to gain knowledge four percent chance of higher knowledge if you stack up a lot of birds uh that all helps out <laughs> a tier three is getting 15 tier one's only five percent so those are also good all right let me go try to test this out hopefully i have a horse and hopefully i have stirrups let me actually check i do have stirrups in my inventory perfect all right perfect we can do it let me just go find some mobs to slaughter here okay grass beetles it is this is the easiest way to farm freaking ecology get on a ranger get on horseback and just run around you can do it with other classes too yeah but just do this Look at that. Demolish this entire field of grass beetles. Easy peasy. This is how you get knowledge. <laughs> All the way through Balanos to Calpheon is very easy to do it like this. When you get to Medea, they're a bit tankier, so you'd probably want to run around and actually slap them. But this method is really good for all these regions. That's how you do ecology. Go to the higher regions, get the knowledge. And getting higher grade knowledge is important for this. So this is the ecology points right here. And having higher points of this gives you higher drop rate. So right now I'm at 5,300. I get 14%. Here's a breakdown of how many points you get for each grade of knowledge. And here's the drop rate bonus you get for it. Now let's talk about the energy recovery. First thing, the pay to win part is the blessing of comma silver. This gives you two energy recovery. And also you get, um, you can get energy recovery from the Turing Gates buff from your 
pay to win tent. Cheering gates, yep, one energy recovery. Along with that, you can use a few other things. Using a bed in your residence will also give you um, energy recovery depending on the quality of the bed. The good ones will give you two energy recovery. I think you get a free one from the game itself. I forgot what the achievement was. Do you guys remember what it was? Time played? Gotcha. And what was that food that Jordan told me about? Max energy. So there are actually crystals you can socket in your gear like your shoes for max energy I believe but no one ever uses that. This food buff is really good um life skill xp and max energy so if you have it running 24 7 it really helps out if you're a hardcore life skiller but yeah um those would be the energy recovery options let's talk about the energy recovery potions so these extra large potions are the best ones you can buy off the marketplace they're like five mil a pop on na and it costs 200 energy to make one of these. So to make these, I use all my energy on my alts for doing this as well. Going and milking with all that energy, it takes too much time. It takes like 15 minutes to get through one character or something. So I'm like, I'm good. Just gonna make energy potions is easy peasy. So it takes 200 for an extra large. Um, just come over to Alliston and he's there in Alejandra farm as well. So you can exchange over there as well or wherever you see him in the game. Just hit this 200 energy, you get an extra large energy potion. These have a cooldown of 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes you can pop it for 50 energy. Now, when you're gathering um, like pilgrims or when you're gathering meat, you should be able to outpace how quickly you can recharge your energy from the potions but it's still worth uh, spending the money for these energy potions because you're investing that in your xp to you know get higher gathering level and in turn that gives you more mastery so the way you have permanent energy <laughs> pretty much is uh, if you go to function here and there's pay to win energy potions. So for 400 pearls, you get 11 of these. I never buy this actually. I do however buy these, which I didn't seem to buy this week. So every week you get this offer for 200 pearls, half the price, you get um, 11 of these and you get three life XP scrolls. The Monday special, yep. <laughs> you get energy potions from events and stuff they tend to give those out every now and then as well but yeah that's how you pretty much have a permanent energy rotation to be able to gather for like 10 hours straight and whatnot some spots are slower so you can pace yourself so you're not burning energy that quickly but i'm not sure if anyone actually does that but <laughs> yeah that's pretty much covers it i think i covered everything energy related right anything else chat rbf 100 energy recovery yep that's true <laughs>